Hello everybody, this is Bill Cameron from the Edge of Eternity, Bill Cameron, and I'm here tonight to do a, a mail call. I want to share with you some of the things that I've received from some of the uh, great uh, subscribers and viewers of my channel. Thank you so much, all of you. Um, I've had some of this stuff for a few months, so for those of you who have been wondering if I received it, yes, I did, and I've enjoyed everything I've gotten. Um, so before I get into the uh, mail call, I just want to say thank you to all the subscribers and to all of the new subscribers and all of the help that people have given me in uh, in making this channel grow into something. I, I appreciate it very much. This week we passed uh, 900 and uh, we're on our way to that 1,000 subscriber mark that everybody really likes to achieve. So thank you so much for that. Uh, if you're a viewer and haven't subscribed, God bless you. If you are a subscriber, God bless you too. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, let's get into the reason we're here tonight. Uh, first thing I want to share with you is something I got from uh, Matt and Stacy Steen at God and Gears. If you haven't checked them out yet, you really need to. Uh, he sent me several uh, cards. You can maybe zoom in on that, get his information off that card. It'll also be in the description, just like everyone else's. Sent me some really nice looking stickers. Those will be in my um, shop, and uh, you'll be seeing them for some of the videos. But this first book that he sent me is called God's Miracles for My Life. Uh, Matt wrote this book a while ago, and it's available on Amazon. I would encourage everyone to get it. You can buy his books for $4.00. And uh, it's a value like you've never seen. It's really a good book. Um, and it's about his story. It's about Matt and uh, miracles that he's seen in his life. And what I really like about this book is, is that uh, even the little things that happen but make a difference, he looks at those like miracles. And I do too. And I want you to be uh, aware of his heart for God when you're reading this book and uh, get to know him through his channel. You'll really enjoy it. Now, there's another one of Matt's books that I've gotten here, and uh, this one is called In Death, okay? In Death, A Biblical Perspective on Death by Matt Steen. I want to read you just a couple of brief sentences out of this. He says here, One of the greatest promises of God that God gives his children is in 2 Timothy 1.7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. When we accept God's free gift of Jesus and his sacrifice, he gives us a peace. Philippians 4, 7 says, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Does anybody have anxiety? Does anybody have restless nights or a sense of not having peace? This is also on Amazon. It's $4. And uh, you should get you one. Now, Matt sent me two of these. So here's the deal. The first one to comment about Matt's book, and I'll look at the timestamps, will get a copy sent to them. I will send you one of these copies because uh, Matt wanted me to share, and I will be happy to do that. I'd love to get this in your hands, and you would enjoy it too. And then maybe you can pass it on to someone else. Uh, it would be a great thing to do. So Matt and Stacy, thank you very much. Thank you for the ministry that you have on YouTube, and I uh, really appreciate it. Um, next, Mr. Who is Wayne Reynolds, dash Wayne Reynolds. Wayne sent me um, this coin. Now, it's very hard to see on the screen, I'm sure, and I'm not taking it out of this case. This coin is not just any coin. It's not one of those that you can order from HartfordGold.com or something on TV. This coin is from the years between 135 and 37 BC. This coin is the exact same type of coin that the Bible talks about in Mark chapter 12 when it tells us the story of the widow's might. She had two of these little coins that add up to almost nothing. But it was all that she had, and she gave it all because of her faith in Jesus. 
And it's a great story. Mark chapter 12. Be sure and read that. Um, about the widow's might, you know, and I, I look at this thing and I wonder, I wonder who would have touched this coin? Maybe Pontius Pilate in his early days. Possibly. Maybe a Roman soldier. Um, it could have been anyone and we don't really know. But what we do know is it was very near the time of Jesus' birth, 37 years before when it went out of circulation. But uh, Wayne, this is very special. Um, I'll keep this and cherish it. It's something that not too many people get to have their hands on. And I really, I really love it. So thank you very much. Um, Bryce DeCastro and Shiloh and I Spider the Garage. Um, got to get me a new hat. And uh, Bryce and Shiloh, thank you very much. Uh, I will definitely be keeping this in my truck all winter because unlike Arizona where you live, it gets really, really cold here in the wintertime. And uh, I always need to have something to protect my head if something happens. And now I'm driving a Ram, so you never know. Sorry, guys, I just haven't had the best of luck with this one. Uh, but anyways, Bryce, thank you very much. And thank you for the many, many times that you have shared my videos. I know that's made a huge difference on my channel and uh, for the growth and everything. So thank you, and thank you for this hat. It will definitely go to good use. And then finally, um, I have a couple of more. Uh, one from Arco at Minnesota Outlaw Customs, and one from... Manny at uh, Mayhem Fab Shop by proxy through Arco, if that all made sense. Okay, so uh, I got this box the other day, and I picked it up, and I'm going, that is one heavy little box. Wow, you know, what's, what's, what's Arco sending me, you know? And so I pulled this out. This is a new um, travel mug from Minnesota Outlaw Customs. Beautiful. I've already used it. Uh, a few times this week, and I'll keep on using it. It's perfect size for a coffee cup in the car. And uh, Arco, thank you for that. Thank you, Heidi, as well. I uh, really appreciate you guys and all the support you have also given me. But I had to find out what all that weight was. Okay. My wife's not home. I can do that right now. Um, this hammer, okay, was made by Manny at Mayhem Fab Shop. All these channels you'll find in my description. Please go check them out. Now, Manny does uh, a lot of metal artwork. Uh, he builds bikes. He does a lot of other things. But um, I saw this on Arco's uh, channel, one of his videos, when he was doing a, uh, a mail call, basically. And I, I'm like drooling, thinking that thing is so cool. And uh, it really is. Uh, it's polished beautifully. It's uh, uh, twisted metal. And what twisted metal is, it, it reminds me of when I started in the metal industry. I used to call it heat and beat. This is heat and twist. And um, basically, he heats this up red hot with a torch, grabs it, and twists it. And I'm going to show you uh, what this handle looks like a little bit closer up. Look at the ornate design that he comes up with. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this comes from a square piece of iron. It's uh, not pre-twisted in any way, or does it doesn't have any type of, my light's in the wrong spot, but it doesn't have any type of shape or form to it other than a square bar. And he forms this and bends it and twists it. And uh, he also put on a, a wood handle here, secured through uh, these two ears that come off of his uh, the hammer handle. And uh, it's got to be at least a 16-ounce ball peen. It's an awesome hammer. Manny, thank you. Arco, thank you very much. All right. Everybody, I want to say thank you, everyone, all the viewers, for your support, your subscriptions, uh, for the... People that gave me these gifts, thank you so very much. I really appreciate them. And uh, I, I use everything that I'm given in one way or another. I won't go on and on about this coin, but I took it to the church and uh, showed many, many people this. And they just didn't want to stop talking about it. 
these kind of things mean so much. Something that someone makes that is handmade or writes a book and sends it to you. These are these books and items are priceless because they're given from the heart and people know what I like and appreciate and they take that in consideration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wish you all a, a great evening and uh I'll see you tomorrow night at the Sunday night service at the garage. God bless you all.